Wednesday was moving day at the Confluence Technology Center, the day networks moved their Simulsat antenna to the roof. It was something this dedicated department has been looking forward to. Yes, we're really excited about getting video onto the fiber network. It really completes the picture uh, of the service offerings for the service providers. Uh, they'll, they'll have the full complement of voice, uh, video, and internet access available to end users. The DISH will pick up satellite signals from content providers like CNN, ESPN, TNT, and the rest of the television alphabet. The 3,000-pound antenna was assembled on the ground. The fiberglass body of the DISH has a reflective surface that focuses signals back to receivers in the center of the antenna. A frame was built on the CTC roof. Behind us are the two platforms that will be accommodating the satellite receiving antennas for our video head end. The platform on the right will, have, will house the two parabolic antennas. They are 3.8 meters in diameter and uh, they are motorized to allow positioning in on any satellite within the uh, domestic uh, receiving arc. The platform on the left is going to accommodate our main receiving antenna which is a Simulsat 5 multi-focal point antenna that can view the entire 70 degree arc of uh, all domestic satellites that service North America. Work was done earlier this year to add supports to the building to hold the new structures. Altogether the installation will add about 20,000 pounds of weight to the roof. Half of that is the frame which must hold the dishes steady in the face of a potential 20,000 pounds of uplift from wind. From the roof, signals will travel through cables in conduit down to the basement, where the head end has been under construction since early January. The signal is just it's brought in over the satellite dishes that will be mounted on the roof of the CTC building. Uh, that's all the channels, the analog and digital. Once they're uh, brought down into the head end in the basement, they'll be split out. Uh, into the analog head end and the digital head end. From there they get routed through the service providers and then on to the customer. The PUD will be ready to deliver video signals to service providers by the end of April. While the service providers have more steps to complete, it shouldn't be long until video over fiber is a reality for Chelan County residents. <laughs>